Hello, and welcome to Pathology Central Key Concepts. Today's topic is rotten tomatoes and tasty bits, or in other words, necrosis and apoptosis. Now, I'm going to do a very thorough and scientific dive into uh, necrosis and apoptosis. We'll talk about BCL2 and backs and back and caspases, but this is just a concept video for some of you who are trying to wrap your idea around what is the big difference between necrosis and apoptosis? And I have an example that I think will really help you to envision this. So first, let's start with the serious part, necrosis and apoptosis. So necrosis, we know, is characterized by cell swelling, and essentially breakdown of the membranes, leakage of the cell contents, and that's going to cause inflammation. All right, so that's necrosis in a nutshell. Apoptosis, by comparison, is going to be a shrinking of the cell, and it's going to break down into small bits called apoptotic bodies that are tasty, uh, that have uh, little signals on them that say, eat me, which is going to bring uh, macrophages in that will uh, eat these little bits up without bringing in the destruction of acute uh, inflammation. All right, so that's the big picture. So how are we going to think about this in our head? Tomatoes. So here we have uh, at the top two tomatoes, a nice big uh, sandwich tomato here and a Roma tomato here. Now, if you are, uh, you take one of these beautiful tomatoes and you leave it on your windowsill and you go on winter break uh, and you come back uh, two weeks later, uh, this is likely what you will find. You will find uh, areas of mold, the uh, the uh, tomato has, uh, the, the uh, tomato skin is broken down. There's leakage of juicy nastiness down here. And this has brought ants, or in my <laughs> house more often, uh, fruit flies. Uh, and so what I liken this to is necrosis, all right? This is something that uh, it's broken down. You can see that the, the membrane, the cellular membrane, or the tomato skin uh, has fallen apart. Juices are leaking out. This is exactly what happens uh, in necrosis, and these juices are what bring the inflammation or the ants and fruit flies. So that's necrosis for you. Now, for comparison, say you are in sunny Italy, and you take one of these uh, lovely Roma tomatoes, you slice it in half, and you put it in the sun to dry. It's going to slowly over time shrink and become more concentrated, and it's going to have little eat me signs on you. And you're going to look at this, you're gonna say, this looks fantastic, and you will pop it into your mouth. So this here is what I liken to apoptosis, right? So you have shrinking, you have all of the goodness is retained in here, and you have this, uh, this tasty bit. Uh, and if you were a macrophage, you would look at this, and you would say an apoptotic body and pop it in your mouth. Now, just uh, to show an image, right, to sort of bring this together, uh, here we have a myocardial infarct. Uh, it's a relatively recent infarct, so we still have uh, some nuclei uh, that are present here in the cardiac myocytes. We do have some eosinophilia. We have edema, which we can recognize by this white spaces, because as fluid comes in, it pushes tissues apart. Uh, and then when we fix the uh, uh, the section, we, uh, we have those spaces that remain. And then you can see, what are these? These are ants, or really neutrophils. So this is the acute inflammation that is being drawn into these dead and dying cells as their contents leak out into the area. So these are your ants or your fruit flies. Now by comparison, again, let's look at two examples here. Uh, these are both from uh, Robin's uh, pathology textbooks. Uh, this is uh, fairly normal. This is a, a colonic crypt, uh, and there's a lot of turnover as these epithelial cells move on up. And as you will recognize, either from your reading or from the videos that I do on apoptosis, uh, this is a normal uh, pathway of elimination for rapidly uh, turning over cells. So once they've done what they need to do, they just uh, curl up and die. And they become these little tiny apoptotic bodies. You see a little bit of edema around them. Now here's another example. This is a, a malignant example. This is Burkitt lymphoma. And in this uh, particular disease, you have cells that are uh, multiplying so rapidly uh, that you will get some that will undergo uh, apoptosis. And these here are our friendly macrophages who are seeing these apoptotic bodies and scarfing them up. So you can see here's the uh, macrophage nucleus, here's the cytoplasm, and there are two little apoptotic bodies that it has uh, gobbled down. 
Uh, in Burkitt lymphoma, this is so uh, obvious that it has a, what we call a starry sky appearance. Uh, so here you see uh, the apoptotic bodies, the little sun-dried tomatoes, and here you see the macrophages that have gobbled them down. And then just to bring that image together, here you see the compare and contrast, our leaky, juicy, uh, nasty tomato uh, compared with uh, necrotic uh, cardiac myocytes, and then some uh, delicious sun-dried tomatoes being gobbled down here by some macrophages. So here are two questions for you. Which type of cell death is associated with local inflammation? Uh, and which type of cell death yields a tasty morsel of cellular yumminess? So I hope you found uh, this short video useful. Uh, I'm going to end with a picture of tomatoes from my garden. And you can see on the right there are some uh, that are drying right next to it. Uh, please put your comments down below. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, have a great day and eat some tasty bits.